<clears throat> this is a variety show with no particular niche, baby. It's always about hanging out. Maybe we'll laugh at some stuff. Maybe we'll learn something new. But it's always about hanging out, me and you. Welcome to That Thing with James. I did not warm up my vocal my vocal cords before that. I feel like I, I couldn't keep tune. I could not keep in tune. And for that, I feel great shame. Hi, welcome to the show. I'm the host of this show, That Thing with James. I'm James. Hi, that's me. How you doing? What's up? Let's hang out. Um... Today, YouTubers, audio listeners, if you didn't know, there's a whole video component to this show, and uh, it's the same as the audio, but there's a little bit more going on. Sometimes I'll add in some special effects. Sometimes I will add in some images that may cause you to sharply exhale through your nostrils whilst grinning. And uh, if you want to check that out, you can find me on YouTube. Um, I don't have enough followers to have my own customized URL. For example, you could, if, if I could just get 100 subscribers, then I would finally be able to, you know, uh, claim a customized URL for example, this doesn't exist, but what I would do would be youtube.com slash TTWJ, something like that, something like that, but I'm not able to do it. But if you search on YouTube, you may be able to find it. That thing with James, maybe you'll be able to find it. YouTube's kind of been fucking me. I initially took it rather personally, but I'm taking a step back, you know, I'm trying to separate myself from that part of my ego and say, maybe this is just something fucky. Uh, there's some stuff going on. You, YouTube's being real fucky with me lately. And it's not the first time they've been fucky with me. And uh, since this is a smaller show, um... Uh, they tend, YouTube really tends to, I guess the, the term kids these days use is gas up. YouTube will gas up people who already have a larger platform. And for people with smaller or no platform, it's, there's a lot of gates in the way. Let's put it like that. Um, but yeah. I may be, if you're watching this on video, you may see my eyes looking up. I'm usually looking down, but now I'm looking up. I'm trying something out. I am going to be reading off of a screen that I'm casting from my computer. I'm casting onto a separate screen uh, just because it's easier. So the microphone's not in my line of view. I'm not having to like, you know, duck and weave around the microphone to read an article because today... I'm reading an article entitled, Gun Enthusiasts Celebrate Man Who Shot Himself in the Balls as Their King. Yeah, yeah, I found that. I haven't even read this article yet, but we're going to get into that today. But first, some quick business. If you want more of this show, I put out one new bonus episode every week, and... Uh, and you can get that if you, if you like this and if you want to help support the show. Become a patron at patreon.com slash that thing with James. For just $5, yes, $5, you get one new bonus episode every week of a month. So, you, you know, for a month, five bucks will get you four new episodes, depending on how many Fridays are in that month, per se. And you get access to all the previously recorded and released bonus episodes. So again, if you if you want that, if you enjoy this, if you find it valuable, if you want to help support an independent artiste, an independent creator, 
Become a patron today at patreon.com slash that thing with James. Um, this is a one man show and I've got a lot of stuff going on in my, in my regular life. Like again, if you're watching this on the video, you may notice my hair is a bit shorter than it was previously, like in the last episode. And well, that's because I cut my own hair this past week. Um, Although it's it's currently Sunday, May 1st. So a handful of days ago, I cut my own hair. It feels really good. And I did it for art. I did it for a reason because I'm recording a thing. I'm close to the end of my limited web series called After the Tone, which you can find on my YouTube channel. I'm getting near the end of it. And I'm very much looking forward to it. And without giving too much away, I will say this. Not only have I buzzed my hair, but I've also been working on an English accent, a Bristolian accent specifically. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Hopefully this week I get enough time, energy, focus, and desire to finish the damn series. I've got three episodes left. They're short episodes, like anywhere from a minute and a half to three minutes. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm working toward a surprise and then a bonus surprise once it's all done. Um, But yeah, yeah. What was I going to say? So I'm doing that on top of other shit, on top of watching the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial, which I usually don't get too caught up in trials. But this whole thing, I, I'm so excited for tomorrow. Again, this is Sunday. On a, The day of this recording is Sunday. So the trial resumes tomorrow. And I have been giving that trial so much of my attention because it is just so goddamn entertaining. If you haven't seen any of it, even if you don't really give a shit because it's about just big, rich Hollywood people, I urge you, watch some clips because this is like the best Johnny Depp show, movie, whatever, in years. It is so fucking good. They had a witness testifying who was, it was like a previously recorded thing, and it was done over video chat. And this dude, who I think he was like a front desk manager at a building in which Johnny owned a few penthouses, this dude, who was being cross-examined with his testimony, again, pre-recorded via video chat. This dude is like doing this thing on his lunch break. He's sitting in his car taking fat rips off of vape, um, a tobacco, a nicotine vape. certainly seemed and looked like it. It It's definitely a nicotine vape. Dude was taking fat rips off his vape. And and, uh, the defense attorney who was examining him or whatever it's called uh that that attorney was being a real asshole to this guy and he got fed up he started telling her like you got to be nice like yeah i'll answer your next question but be nice about it and at one point near the end he just gets so fucking sick of this defense attorney that he just starts driving while (laughs) while testifying and being cross-examined he's driving without a seatbelt, taking fat rips and being very vocal about how uh, this is his fucking lunch break and he's tired of answering these questions and he's got better shit to do. That's just one example. You know, Amber Heard pooped in Johnny Depp's bed, so on and so forth. It is so, so, so juicy. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. It's one of the best things I think I've watched in a hot minute. So I've been watching that instead of hunting for more content for this show, which you can help me do because this is a one-man show for the most part. I'm the one who records it, edits it, all the things. But I invite you to have a hand in helping to steer this ship. If you, if you want to, 
you can help find content for me, be it ideas, questions, topics, articles, videos, memes, songs, whatever. Email those things, ideas, whatever to me at my show email, that thing with James at gmail.com. Again, that's that thing with James at gmail.com. And another way you can help provide content and just have a laugh is by shitposting on my subreddit because I happen to have a strong affinity for shitposts. Uh, you can post on my subreddit at r slash that thing with James. Or if you're old, www.reddit.com backslash that or r backslash that thing with James. Am I missing anything? Patreon.com slash that thing with James. That thing with James at gmail.com. Uh, oh, you can find me on social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. My handle on all three is at James J. Asher. You can find all of this information written in the episode description. Um, and if you're not already, please subscribe to the show if you enjoy it. Share it. Spread the love like chlamydia amongst koalas. In case you didn't know, koalas are lousy with the clap. And lice. They're nasty fucking creatures. Anyway, things have been changing. Things have been changing. I hope you don't mind if I just riff for a little bit. Things have been changing for me. And actually, I might elaborate more on that in the bonus episode. But I'll just say I'm, I'm trying to keep in mind and remember that when you live somewhere new, it really does take at least a few years to feel like you're living there, to feel like you're, you know, having a new life. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to save that. I'll, I'll save that for the bonus episode. So fuck it. Let's just let me take a drink of this delicious uh, peach flavored Waterloo sparkling water. And then we'll read this article about a dude, the, the, uh, the uh, ballless king, the self-cast, the auto-castrated king. Be right back. All right, so this article is from August 13th, 2020. It is entitled, Gun Enthusiasts Celebrate Man Who Shot Himself in the Balls as their king. Subtitle, a guy who shot himself in the balls posted his journey from discharge to hospital visit, and it's making him a king online. Written by Matthew Galt. And there's a lovely picture of dudes, uh, three different guys holding, um, well, handguns to their genitalia. Looks like we've got a, a Glock, a revolver, and... I can't tell what that is on the right, but it looks size-wise, it looks about like a 40 caliber, maybe. Guns are fun. Guns are fun. All right, let's read this. Back in May, and again, this is two years old. Back in May, we wrote about a group of gun enthusiasts who love taking pictures of loaded weapons pointing at their dicks. On a long enough timeline... One of them was inevitably going to accidentally discharge their weapon. And on Tuesday, that appears to be exactly what happened to one member in the San Diego area. Nice use of member. Nice play on words. A member of a Facebook group dedicated to taking pictures of loaded weapons pointed at dicks finally shot himself in the balls. Hold up. There is a Facebook group of people who are dedicated to posting pictures of them uh, putting a fucking gun to their nuts. That is, let me say, nuts. That's just crazy. Let's keep reading. According to bloody pictures and b video he posted on social media and the 
Imper- Imperial County Sheriff's Office. Imperial? What is this, fucking England? And it can't be. Which confirmed the incident to Motherboard. Rather than step back and start questioning whether the practice is wise, the group made him an administrator and are now celebrating him as their king. Okay, so there's these dudes who have a group on Facebook and they're posting pictures of pointing loaded weapons at their genitalia and one accidentally shot himself in the genitalia and instead of it being a warning, they're now saying he succeeded, he is the the chattest of all of us, and he is now king. Let's keep reading. On August 11th, 2020, a member of the group loaded guns pointed at Venus. <laughs> they're probably doing the red B. Venus posted a video of himself pointing a loaded 1911 handgun at his junk. There's a brief pause before the gun discharges. Was it on purpose or not? The original video of the man shooting himself in the balls and subsequent thread has been deleted. Oh, that's a bummer. I wanted to see some Venus blasting. But members of the group captured the video and aftermath and re-uploaded it. Kings. Venus kings. Yes. Quote, Hey, boys, I might have fucked up. The man who shot himself in the balls wrote above a picture of his naked legs and splattered blood on the carpet of his floor. A towel, oh God, a towel is stuffed between his legs and a printed out copy of the Constitution (laughs) and a printed out copy of the Constitution is crumpled on the edge of the photo. Let me reread that. Hey boys, I might have fucked up. The man who shot himself in the balls wrote above a picture of his naked legs and splattered blood on the carpet of his floor. A towel stuffed between his legs and a printed out copy of the Constitution is crumpled on the edge of the photo. Is this man, is this the libertarian Dream Is this the libertarian agenda? The right to not understand toasters. The right to drive while intoxicated. The right to do, you know, to, to, to disregard the concept of age. The right to blow one's own penis off. Is this the libertarian dream? I think so. This is this is a libertarian king. He's the libertarian ideal. Mm-hmm. The guy posted through the incident as he bled, quote, <laughs> quote, God's caliber, God's caliber, point 45, went through my scrotum, mattress, box spring, and floor. I guess if he's using a 1911, that implies that it's a Colt 1911, which is a 45 caliber, which I've never shot, but I, I love that gun. I like the way it looks, and I'd like to blast one off at a target that is not my own junk. Let's keep reading. God's caliber, .45, went through my scrotum, mattress, box spring, and floor, he wrote. It's a powerful powerful caliber. Originally, the man thought he'd just grazed his balls, but a subsequent hospital visit told a different story. Okay, so he just pierced the scrotum. He didn't ruin... uh, He could have easily ruined the beans, but he just went through the bag, so it seems. Let's keep reading. And the last public post from the man, he's in a green hospital gown on a gurney. A pink mask is draped across his face and he's pointing his finger at his crotch like a gun. Quote, turns out it wasn't a graze. That round went right, th- went right the fuck through me, he posted. What I thought were two graze wounds turned out to be an entrance and exit wound. There are 
easier ways to pierce your own scrotum. However, they're not as, um, they're not as cool, I guess, is it? Fellas, fellas, is it cool to pierce your own scrot with 0.45 God's caliber? Is it cool? Is it manly? Does it confirm your masculinity, fellas, to pierce your own scrot with the Colt 45? Let's keep reading. The shooter didn't respond to a request for comment, but an admin for loaded guns pointed at Venus said he was doing well. Quote, he is 100% okay. Actually went to work the next day. What? He went back to work? See, this is, this truly is the libertarian idea. This is the libertarian agenda. This is the capitalist agenda. Is this man a, a... And could he possibly be an anarcho-capitalist, which is basically sort of, you know, it's a flavor of libertarian? It's his right to blast his own scrote and then go back to work. Why? Why? Because he's a fucking alpha male. This might even be Sigma behavior. I don't know. I just learned yesterday uh, via a TikTok face filter that I'm an Omega man. I have a general idea and I cherry picked some of the definitions that I found and I'm owning those cherry picked definitions because that's like even more Sigma than a Sigma. You know, Sigma is like a poser. Omega is the real sauce. Let's keep reading. Um, went to work the next day. An admin of Loaded Guns pointed at Venus told Motherboard in a Facebook message, quote, The reason we are calling him King is partially because the poor guy (laughs) already shot himself. Don't think he needs to be chastised as well. So he auto-castrated, but they don't want to chastise this auto-castrated King? All right. Quote, I'm quite sure he's learned his lesson without the entire world calling him an idiot. End quote. According to his Facebook profile, the man who was shot the man who shot himself lives in the San Diego area. And as we all know, San Diego, San Diego stands for a whale's vagina. The San Diego Police Department told Motherboard it had been called to the hospital in the area to follow up on a patient with a self-inflicted gunshot wound at 8.30 p.m. August 11. A representative of the police department told Motherboard on the phone that the man was gone by the time the officers arrived at the hospital. The shooter posted his picture from the hospital at 8.24 p.m. on August 11th. To understand why this idiotic thing happened in the first place and why there are several groups online dedicated to posting pictures of gun owners pointing loaded a loaded weapon at their dick besides the Facebook group. Oh, so there's more. There's more. In question, you need to understand the beef. Oh my God. Why you got to bring up beef when you blasted your penis the beef raging between their balls i'm kidding it doesn't say that you need to understand the beef raging between online gun people wait of course there's a gun beef quote trigger discipline is a basic gun safety measure this is true this is true trigger discipline is where you don't have your finger pressed on the trigger, you've got it outside of like the little trigger compartment resting on the side of the barrel, basically. Straight index finger, do not touch the trigger. That's trigger discipline. Is a basic gun safety measure drilled into people when they're learning about firearms. Basic safety says that you always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot and that you point it away from yourself and other people unless you mean to shoot them. 
Shit posters love taking pictures of a loaded gun pointed at their groin, finger hovering oh, just above the trigger to irritate responsible gun owners. Wait, so they're just doing this to piss off people who aren't assholes? All right. Now, loaded guns pointed at Venus has made the shooter an admin, and the group is making memes of him as their king. In one meme, Barack Obama is giving him a presidential medal of freedom. The group changed its cover to cover photo to a screenshot of the shooter pointing his loaded 1911 at his dick. Quote, we are sick and tired of being demonized as gun owners, and I looped together with the alt and looped together with the alt right just for owning guns. An admin of loaded guns pointed at Venus told Motherboard in a Facebook message. We are sick of Republicans, think NRA, telling us what to do with our property, and we are sick of being told that just because we like guns, it means we have to be anti-woman, pro-life, and pro-Trump. I'm still getting very libertarian vibes from this. Since the story made its way to Twitter and other gun groups online, many have called the shooter's actions stupid. Quote, I'm honestly surprised it took this long. An admin of gun people who hate gun people, a Facebook group for gun enthusiasts to vent about irresponsible gun owners, told Motherboard in a Facebook message, quote, but of course this is probably one of the dudes crazy enough to actually point a gun at his junk and then actually post a video of him shooting himself. Like, most people have the sense of self-worth to not share getting so amazingly owned by their own stupidity. Now I must know, I must know, did this guy do it on purpose? Did he do it on purpose? <sighs> Dude busted his own penis off. Well, that's it for this episode. Yeah, it's a short one, I know. If you, again, want to stick around for a bonus episode, you're more than welcome to do so if you're not already a member at patreon.com slash that thing with James. Become a member and uh, you get a bonus episode, access to all the other older bonus episodes, and you get to help support an independent creator. Who knows what we're going to talk about in the bonus episode, but that's it. This is a finally a shorter episode. I when I say I'm going to do a short episode it ends up running long. When I don't say it it might end up being long anyway, but this one's an actual short one. So, thanks for tuning in. I love you and I'll catch you next time. Bye. <laughs>